Cat owners know their pets are creatures with some seemingly inexplicable habits and mood shifts, and those quirks only get exasperated when you have more than one cat in the house. Pam Johnson Bennett is one of the foremost cat experts, and her widely read book has been updated and expanded. It's called Cat vs. Cat, Keeping Peace When You Have More Than One Cat. She joins us now. Pam, how are you? Hi, Pam. Hi. Hi. I'm good. Thanks for having me this morning. So, uh, you know, we're hearing a lot of people adopting pets during this pandemic, and, you know, a lot of people think, oh, you just put it on a litter box, and cat just wanders around by itself what's the what's the one mistake people make who've never had a cat before they don't plan and they think that cats come pre-trained and like you said they just put a litter box out and they think the cat will take care of everything you you really need to plan because this is a relationship and hopefully it's a relationship that's going to last many years <clears throat> excuse me and when it comes to having more than one cat life is good when you have one cat everything is his he doesn't have to worry about anybody but then when you get a second cat all of a sudden that cat has to do something he's not used to share so keep in mind that when you have more than one cat you're going to need more resources so don't expect them to share the food bowl the water bowl one litter box make sure everybody has enough when it comes to resources does cat behavior have some science behind it or is this more of your intuition and your own observations? It's a lot of science behind it. And cats being creatures of habit, actually it becomes easier than you think hmm. because cats like routine, they like familiarity. And by watching their behavior and watching their patterns, you can figure out what a cat is trying to tell you. A big mistake we make is that we think a misbehavior, what we label as misbehavior, is the cat deliberately acting bad when really the cat is trying to tell you hey, something isn't working here, and I don't know how to figure it out. So we need to get out of that, that mind frame of, oh, the cat's deliberately being bad, and start looking at, okay, what is he trying to tell me? What have I not supplied? And that really is the secret to having a good relationship with a cat. Give us an example of something that it's like, if the cat does this, they're trying to tell you this. Okay, a big thing is eliminating outside of the litter box. A lot of people will think, oh, he's being spiteful, oh, he's stupid, you know, he knows where the litter box is, but it could be a medical issue. He might be in pain and he couldn't make it to the litter box in time. Maybe the box isn't clean enough. Maybe you're not doing your end of the bargain in terms of cleaning it, or maybe it's not located in an area that's good. It might make him frightened, or if you have a multi-cat household, maybe he gets attacked when he gets there so you look at what the behavior is where the cat is going because that may tell you why he's choosing that location maybe he feels safer there okay let's so, get to a viewer question we have a question from a viewer I have a new kitten in the home to keep a two-year-old company how do you go about getting them to play together they seem to be weary of, of the other neither wants to make the move to become buds well are we talking about a two-year-old other cat uh, and not a not a human, I assume. Right. But cat, cats are sociable, but they're also territorial. And so you have the the resident cat who thinks, wait a minute, somebody's an intruder here. And then you have the newcomer who's basically dropped across enemy lines. So you have to separate them and give them a reason to like each other. Go slowly and help them find reasons to like each other. Don't just put them together and expect them to work it out. And that's a big mistake we make. We we have this dog mentality that you know the dogs will instantly become friends and we think that'll happen with cats and it doesn't all right another question from a viewer this person says we just brought home a new cat to have some company during all this isolation but he seems a little standoffish how can we bond with the cat well even though you know that you've supplied the best home for the cat this cat has some baggage, you know, whether he came from the shelter, whether he came from the street. So go at his pace, do things like interactive playtime with a fishing pole toy, use treats. Another thing I love is clicker training, but don't try to, to kind of get in his space too much too soon. Let him come to you, but give him a reason to like you. And a lot of that comes down to good old fashioned bribery. All well, right. You Thank can, you, Pam. You can find Pam at catbehaviorassociates.com and on Twitter. And the updated book is Cat vs. Cat.